someone was telling me a story about how they prayed for green lights on the way to work and they'd got green lights and felt that God had absolutely answered their prayers because this is what God was about, arranging the traffic system on their behalf. We live in these cocoons of our own making. Those cocoons block out the reality of a world that screams for some kind of change. Could we get past the myth that safety is happiness and the comfort you saw just becomes something that suffocates? A butterfly cannot emerge successfully from a cocoon without struggle. It's the fight to break free that gives it life. If it doesn't fight, if someone helps it, the butterfly dies. You only find life when you struggle. What if by building rhythms of life that face us with the world as it really is, a way of living that challenges the suffocating comfort of our lives, we manage to just tear that cocoon a little bit so that you can see through to the other side, the child whose parent has died from HIV, the reality of war and conflict. You get it. You, you don't get it fully, but you just allow it in. And the more that that becomes a rhythm, the more that that slowly changes you and breaks down the cocoon, which is about living with open eyes. Not life like green traffic lights on the way to work. God is imagining a new world. And as God dreams and we dream with him, then we reach forward and we haul that dream into the present.